name is Catherine Huang. Uh, I'm a principal engineer from McAfee. Today's uh, presentation and talk uh, on the topic of how can we walk towards security in machine learning. Yeah, I don't know how many people are familiar with uh, machine learning uh, in the background, but uh, I will go through uh, some of the concept uh, about the relationship be between the security and the machine learning. Especially in today's talk, you will hear about how security can help with machine learning, make machine learning more robust. So the agenda of this uh, talk, including some uh, basic uh, overview about adversary machine learning, I'll talk about the concept and how uh, security related to machine learning. And then we will go through some of the use cases in adversary machine learning attack. And then uh, I will go through two uh, use case we applied adversary machine learning uh, in McAfee and some defense mechanism and summary. Uh, first, let's give an introduction about adversary machine learning. Uh, as you all know, uh, Machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, have breakthrough in the latest year, it including in image recognition, uh, AlphaGo, robotics, uh, machine translation, and speech recognition. On the right, you see uh, for image net recognition, it lately, especially after 2015, uh, the performance of uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning technology have uh, exceeded human performance. So with all these technology involved, um, also we need to look into what's the uh, vulnerability of this technology in adversary setting. So that's the topic adversary machine learning uh, more about. In the research area, adversary machine learning is to make sure the safe adoption of machine learning and artificial intelligence in adversary setting. So you can see um, the book, Adversary Machine Learning, is, uh, has uh, published uh, by Uni uh, University of UC Berkeley uh, last year. And openly, I have this position paper in malicious use of artificial intelligence, uh, specifically uh, discuss the forecasting uh, prevention and mitigation of malicious use of AI. Uh, NIPS, uh, which is Neural Information uh, Processing System, is a top one uh, AI conference. Also held uh, uh, the first and the second year of the uh, adversary machine learning data challenge, specifically to um, raised awareness about the attack and defense mechanisms. Even more, we have Clever Hans, which is an um, open source adversary machine learning library to um, showcase, uh, provide a tool for us to developing uh, adversary machine learning attack and experiment the defense mechanism. As you know, um, adversary machine learning uh, had originally started way before uh, deep learning. It originally started uh, from the span future um, in 2004 and 2005. Um, and then it moved forward to UC Berkeley research and uh, uh, in Europe, we also have some publication in this domain for malware detections. Uh, after that, um, in 2014, the first paper on adversary uh, example using deep learning was uh, published uh, by uh, Sajidi. That paper really brought uh, great attention in identify the vulnerability of deep learning. After that, Goodfellow, Papernas paper, and the Kalini's attack, a Korak King's attack, has been uh, published and uh, track a lot of uh, study in this domain. 
Moreover, uh, in addition to this uh, digital attack, which means they can modify like in image space from the pixel uh, to physical attack, which means the attacker may not have access to the uh, sensing result. Um, how this type of attack can deploy in physical space. So there are multiple uh, paper from UC Berkeley, uh, uh, the physical attack paper to traffic sign and the CMU paper on facial recognition and MIT's paper on uh, 3D uh, uh, objects. Um, and then UC Berkeley uh, has a paper on uh, not just for the supervised learning, also identify uh, reinforcement learning, which is another mechanism of machine learning, um, also vulnerable to this type of attack. So you can see there are more and more um, publications in this domain in these two years. As you know, security, problem is always an arms racing problem for attacker and defender. So it's the same as how we can work towards uh, secure machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence. Um, we need to change from reactive uh, defense to proactive defense. So as you, you see from the reactive defense, we we basically analyze the system adversary can devise attack and then design the uh, countermeasure and um, to do the defense. But we want, in order to be proactive, we want to also model the adversary attack and simulate this type of attack so that we can uh, evaluate the impact of this attack and then develop a better countermeasures uh, to these new type of uh, attack. So this has become uh, more um, advanced than the previous uh, defense. Based on attacker's knowledge, um, these adversary machine learning have three type of attack. One is white box attack, which assume attacker have full knowledge about your uh, machine learning model and what type of feature you are using. Uh, another type of attack is attacker have limited knowledge. So it, uh, the attacker does not know the model, but has some knowledge about your features. And then black box attack, which means the attacker has no knowledge about your system. So we want to take a look how this works. The concept of adversary machine learning is um, how uh, attacker can manipulate the system to make the attack successful. So there are two types of attack uh, in this concept. One is called poisoning attack. It happened at training time, which means um, this type of attack can change the model parameters because they can change the uh, training data. Uh, the second type of attack is called evasion attack, which happen at test phase, the inference phase. So um, the attacker can manipulate your test sample so that uh, it can evade the detection or cause the misclassification of these prediction results. So it will increase the false negative in uh, security a domain, for example, like uh, uh, malware detector. So as uh, we describe, the attacker have different goals. So we can differentiate this type of attack as targeted attack or non-targeted attack. For example, um, uh, if we want to do facial recognition, it can be targeted to a specific person. Uh, it was the non-targeted attack, which means you just want to uh, do the attack so that the system cannot recognize the legitimate um, person. Uh, another uh, type of um, 
attack is based on attacker's uh, capability. Uh, as I said, uh, there are uh, digital attack versus physical attack. Digital, digital attack means uh, the uh, attacker have the capability to access to your digital uh, information. Uh, for example, the feature uh, space, like an image, there will be the pixels. Like for malware detection would be the malware features. For physical attack, uh, which means the attacker has no access to your digital system, that it can manipulate the physical space. Uh, for example, like the environment, uh, uh, put some sticker uh, on the um, uh, traffic sign to make the BIS classification for traffic sign recognition, for instance. Uh, the third type of uh, attack, uh, uh, as I just uh, described, is based on attacker's knowledge. We have white box, gray box, and black box attack. Um, so uh, after we learn about this concept uh, and terminology of adversary machine learning, I want to just describe the concept about the eval evaluation curve, we call security evaluation curve. But basically is how we evaluate a machine learning system or AI system is a um, high performance system or successful system. So um, in uh, the adversary setting, right? Uh, x taxi is the attack strength or um, attack ob uh, obviousness, like how we can uh, vi visualize the attack. And then the y axis is the accuracy of the system. So uh, the red curve is one system and the black curve is another system. You can see for the red curve, when we don't have attack, so this system have higher accuracy. But when we, uh, the attack strength getting uh, stronger and stronger, the performance drops significantly. Uh, in contrast to that, the black curve is the other system C1 uh, even though when we don't have the attack, the, the accuracy is a little bit lower than the rep, uh, the C2, but it keep robust or resilient to this type of attack when attack uh, strength getting uh, stronger and stronger. So in this case, we will prefer the C1 than C2 because this is more robust uh, to adversary perturbation. So that's I want you uh, to uh, understand. Basically, we, in addition to measure the accuracy, we also um, measure the robustness of the system. So uh, the key concept uh, in we've, uh, in the, today's talk, I want to focus on evasion attack. The key concept of evasion attack is adversary example. So adversary example uh, expose the fundamental blind spot in AI algorithm. Uh, let's take a look uh, at this image. Um, it's a school bus and a temple on the lab. Uh, that's the original image. And in the middle are the uh, perturbation of this image. Uh, on the right, uh, adversary examples. To human, we don't see, uh, see the difference between the, the image on the left and the image on the right, right? They look very similar um, because the perturbation are very subtle. Uh, our visual perception uh, cannot um, identify them. But the new network uh, image identification system will classify these two image as ostrich. So that's totally misclassified into something else because of this perturbation. So we call this example, which cause 
um, the base classification result, we call adversary examples. So these are the key concepts we're going to use through this talk. Uh, another key concept is transfer attack. Uh, the transferability of this adversary example is fundamental concept which make the gray box and black box attack possible. So uh, the, in order to explain that, um, I want you to look at uh, two a different model. So the, uh, one is a target model. So that's the model we are going to attack. And then there's another model called substitute model, which an uh, attacker can create at his end. So basically, attacker can create, train its own model, and generate the adversary example, craft, craft it uh, based on this uh, substitute model, and then uh, use this adversary example to test on their substitute model. If it successfully evades, and then it can try to deploy this model to the target um, systems. So paper not, uh, this paper shows the transferability from one algorithm to another. Um, the source machine learning tech, uh, techniques are the substitute model. You can, you can see these are the popular machine learning algorithms including deep neural network, logistic regression, support vector machine, decision tree, and k nearest neighbor. So the target model, uh, including the same uh, sim similar model and the ensemble of all these models uh, as a target system. Uh, the darker the color in the, in the grid shows the more successful of the attack. So you can see if the attacker create a logistic regression model to attack support vector machine, the success rate is 91%, which means the attacker does not need to have access to the target model. It can create a substitute model at its end to create this adversary example and then deploy this adversary example to successfully target the victim system, right? So that's uh, the transferability of this adversary attack. Now our next agenda is to talk about um, some of the use cases of adversary machine learning attack. Uh, this is the hand digit and this data. Uh, for instance, uh, you can think about use cases in the bank, uh, how uh, the banking system may not may use these uh, handwritten uh, recognition uh, system to recognize your handwriting, right? So um, you can see the upper uh, row are the original uh, data. It got successfully recognized what is 100% uh, is uh, uh, in the bracket. That's 100% recognized they are correct from zero to nine. Um, but the following to the adversary attack, uh, we can see, for example, the DG6 uh, is recognized as zero with 95% of confidence. So uh, that could uh, cause a bad consequence, right? So that's in the digital space, we call digital attack. In reality, the attacker may not have access to the digital uh, system. So this um, paper uh, from CMU shows how to deploy a physical attack on facial recognition system. On the left, and this is uh, Vita Spoon, the actress, uh, after um, we use this optimization uh, algorithm to develop a pair of glasses uh, in the physical space. Um, so this image can be targeted attack to Russell Crowe. 
uh, so the system will recognize this is no longer the risk response that is Russell Crowe. Another uh, example and use case is for medical imaging. Uh, this paper uh, from a Harvard Medical School shows digital attack and physical attack on uh, X-ray. So the green tag shows the model is correct and the red tag shows the model is incorrect. In the upper row is the clean uh, image and the, the bottom row is adversary uh, image. For digital attack, you can see um, it got like a 100 percent. Um, uh, this is a malicious uh, image and this is a benign. So it's totally opposite. Uh, and for human, we cannot tell the difference between these two after the perturbation. Uh, for the physical attack, it bas basically put an uh, adversary patch. Then uh, this image become uh, mal malicious, is supposed to be benign. And then this one, it become benign, but it's supposed to be malicious. Uh, compared to the nature patch, uh, we put in a random didn't cause uh, the misclassification at all. Those two examples shows um, convolutional neural network uh, for image processing uh, are vulnerable. Uh, so this example from UC Berkeley work on speech recognition using recurrent neural network. Uh, the attacker can in inject uh, crafted non-speech noise uh, to the smart speech recognition system, such as uh, Alexa. It sounds to a human just like a Y noise, but the um, AI system will recognize as unlock your front door or place uh, an expensive order uh, so that could be uh, a bad consequence. The previous example shows supervised learning, which um, for those people who are not familiar uh, with uh, machine learning, supervised learning are the learning paradigm. You have the labels uh, for the data. So basically uh, you are telling the uh, machine learning algorithm, we, what type of image is, and then the algorithm will learn. Uh, this type of approach, you have label uh, in the training uh, phase so that um, the algorithm can le learn from the training data uh, associated with the labels. And then in the test phase, you can predict uh, and send data which classes or which category it belongs to. Another um, machine learning paradigm uh, contrast to supervised learning is reinforcement learning. So for those people who are, who are not familiar with reinforcement learning, reinforcement learning do not require labels. It is it's a time sequence of decision making based on the observation, the call state at each timestamp, and also the reward function, which encourage the agent to learn from the reward. And the goal is to get the maximum reward uh, in the time sequence of the decision. So it uh, has been widely used for games and the robotics. So uh, this UC Berkeley paper shows um, not just supervised learning approach are vulnerable, uh, the reinforcement learning algorithm, different uh, algorithm in reinforcement learning is also vulnerable to this type of attack. So uh, basically when they inject uh, this perturbation to the input, 
uh, it can cause the game originally winning uh, become uh, fail in the game. Uh, this is uh, my previous work and my publication in 2018 in uh, IJCNN, International Joint Conference of New Network. We demonstrate the reinforcement learning vulnerability in driving system. Uh, comparing this work with the game, uh, we have a lower dimension of the features uh, because the game using the pixels, so it's high dimensional uh, pixel space. And uh, another difference is we have continuous action and the game have discrete uh, actions. So uh, in, uh, to explain the concept of reinforcement learning, we have the observation in uh, like driving the speed X, Y, Z and angle and the number of the rotation per minute uh, track range and track position, rotation speed of the wheel. And then we have the reward function. Basically, we want to maximize the speed uh, uh, on the right direction and penalize um, any uh, of the track or um, angles. Uh, the action, including continuous action of acceleration, brake, and steering, thinking about driving by yourself, right? So this is a video to show uh, how an uh, RL engine, reinforcement learning engine, can learn by itself to drive by itself. And then when the attack happens, it will uh, impact the driving policy and cause it um, uh, off the track. Yeah, you can see the reward function originally uh, growing when it's on the right track. And then when the attack happened, the reward function dropped significantly uh, and then uh, the driving uh, off the track. I want to um, use two use cases in McAfee uh, to explain these uh, adversary machine learning. One is uh, malware detection. So we use open source data and draw malware data set uh, collected from uh, uh, two years and with different apps from uh, Android uh, phones. The sample size, uh, we have uh, around 120K of the benign sample and 5K of malware samples. We use uh, specifically the attack algorithm is called Jacobian based saliency map approach uh, developed by PipaNap to generate the adversary examples. The idea of this approach is to compute the gradient uh, of the uh, function with respect to the input to estimate and the perturbation in the input will change the output. Uh, we chose a perturbation of the input with maximum positive gradient into a targeted class. It, right now we target it to benign, right? We want to make a malicious, malicious sample look like a benign so that we can evade the detection. So the parameter of M is the number of the features. Uh, in here, we have two classes. One is zero, which is benign, and one is uh, class one is malicious, which is malware. So we ensure that only the API call are added, uh, not deleted uh, existing feature, so that the uh, malware sample still function malicious, maliciously. This is how uh, an adversary example um, generated. So the original malware as uh, shown in the left, we have uh, um, the feature index, like uh, uh, 1,500. And then when this feature present is one, and when this feature is not present, zero. So 
original sample was identified as malware with 91% of confidence. After we add two API call to this sample, uh, this sample can evade detection because the classifier recognizes this is 100%, this is denied. We did the white box attack on these um, data set. Uh, so the uh, deep new network is four layer. Uh, the original detection rate is 91%. Uh, after we add uh, two API call, the detection rate dropped to 20%. So this is a very significant drop. We also did a black box attack on this uh, driven data set. We create a substitute model, which is a five layer neural network and to create the adversary example. And uh, we can see the detection rate also drop uh, after the black box attack. So it shows the transferability um, of this type of attack. Uh, we also, um, develop a defense mechanism uh, to detect this adversary attack. Basically, uh, after the um, original new network detect, uh, the sample is malware or benign. Uh, within the benign, we will perform another step to uh, do the detection, whether this is a real benign or fake benign. So we have a methodology to detect um, if this is an adversary example, then that's a fake benign, so we should block it. And if it's a real benign, then we will allow, uh, uh, so then we will allow this sample to go through. So the detection rate after the defense, we can see the, dete uh, the detection rate of adversary malware sample, uh, we got very high detection rate. Okay, so um, another use case of the investigating is for autonomous driving um, traffic sign recognition system. So as you know, in autonomous driving, uh, there are two steps uh, uh, from the sensing part uh, to the driving policy. So basically you have a camera to catch uh, the traffic sign and do image segmentation to segment this specific sign and then conduct the uh, image classification to recognize what type of sign it is. Uh, so, um, and then the output of this will become the uh, input to another, uh, either reinforcement learning or other uh, machine learning algorithm to, uh, to um, develop the driving policy. Uh, either change lane or keep uh, 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 on this track. So uh, we specifically investigating for the traffic sign recognition system and the uh, uh, specific focus on digital attack, which means we can manipulate the uh, pixels here or physical attack, uh, meaning we can uh, either put a sticker on the sign we use the LISA data set uh, collected uh, at UC San Diego uh, for the US traffic sign. And we use 10 uh, category of the signs. Um, this shows the data distribution. Uh, we have like 1,800 of the stop sign um, uh, and then have different uh, type of sign with a number of the image. And then we uh, developed this uh, convolutional neural network uh, to recognize uh, the traffic sign. Uh, we use this uh, algorithm called basic iterative method developed by Kraken um, to generate the adversary example. Uh, basically the idea is like a fast gradient sign, but uh, try multiple times with small step uh, so it's more iterative way to improve the attack. So there are two parameters in this algorithm. One is uh, how much um, 
the perturbation we should add, and then how many iterations we should run. Uh, so we specific chose alpha equal to 0 0.004, which is equivalent to changes one bit in the pixel. Uh, we conducted targeted attack. Uh, basically, we want to target a stop sign to 35 miles B sign. So you can see after 20 iteration, the classifier can achieve like 100% success rate um, to target a stop sign into a 35 miles B sign for 15 stop signs we collected in our office neighborhood. And then we also did uh, the research on uh, universal attack on a stop sign. So uh, basically, we don't uh, create this mask for each of the signs. We, uh, we got average across all the signs. By just using this universal noise map, uh, we can generate the adversary example at, uh, in batch size. And then we, we, we can see achieve, achieve very high success rate in the attack. Uh, this shows the physical attack. Original, this, uh, this is a live demo, uh, a real stop sign. We can get like 100% recognition, this is a stop sign. But after we carefully craft this uh, sticker and uh, carefully place in this location, then uh, the image recognition system recognized this is an added lane with 81% of confidence after the attack. So you can see uh, the AI system are vulnerable uh, to this type of attack. So, uh, so that's why there are a lot of research focused on reactive defense and proactive defense. Uh, including um, like a timing attack detection, frequent retrain the model and decision verification and make the model explainable. Uh, proactive defense, including robust learning and uh, attack detection. There are some of the paper in this um, defense um, showing uh, some of the defense mechanism in training procedures and uh, uh, like adversary uh, retraining or data transformation, like uh, uh, project the data to low dimensional space or feature squeezing or model architecture change, like a distillation, um, a defense distillation and formal verification methods. Um, we also suggest uh, to monitor your false positive, false negative drifting distribution change um, to make the defense more effective and uh, also utilize human in critical decision making, not a uh, low level task and active uh, risk program implemented in analytic development and the verification and upgrade your software as soon as possible. So in summary, uh, I want to point out AI system, they are vulnerable. Uh, we should work towards a secure the AI system. Uh, so adversary machine learning continue to evolve uh, daily and the precaution, uh, pre, uh, carries a balance between enable technology and providing uh, impeders uh, to the bad actors, it, that's a balance. And the defense me uh, mechanism uh, and techniques in the model development also emerging. So we are hoping to have a um, more robust system in the future to make uh, machine learning and AI system uh, can be safely adopted in even in adversary setting. So thank you for your attention.